Hello makers, so today I wanted to just give a little update video. If you remember, almost two years ago now, I did the videos on the C201, which is a 3D printer that you can build yourself, and I did it with Danny here. So today, Danny is celebrating his graduation from high school, so I just wanted to have a little quick update video to interview Danny a little bit about what he's going to be doing outside of high school, and also just a little bit of footage from the party here. So with all that said, let's get to work. All right, so here we are, Danny, and we are at your backyard here, which kind of bumps up to a little forest here. And just want to ask you a few questions about what you're going to be doing after high school. So where, where are you going to go for your secondary education and what are you going to be doing? Well, after high school, I'm going to be going to Rock Valley College, a local community college, and I'm going to be majoring in nursing. Majoring in nursing. Awesome. So if you're going to be majoring in nursing, what are you looking to do as a career? Are you going to be a nurse or is that just the first step in uh, the progress to the career that you want to go to? Well, about that, I'm not exactly sure yet. I'm thinking possibly going into the ER, although I've also thought of going further, getting my master's and becoming a nurse practitioner. Nice, nice. And how many years of college are you looking at right now? Um, so far, Rock Valley, just two years to get my associates, although there's other local colleges that do get bachelors. So Danny, we put the printer together almost uh, two years now ago, and what did you learn from that experience? What did you gain for the rest of your uh, time in high school? What, what, how did that printer help you? I think it kind of gave me a bit of confidence in building some things and creating things, because there was classes I took where we had to, for example, we made a battle bot. And I think the confidence that building the printer gave me significantly helped the quality of the battle bot that I made, for example. Okay, so high school is finally over, and of course you're going to be heading out to college. But what are you going to be doing this summer? What are your what are your plans to live it up before college begins? Well, actually, a couple days from now, my dad and I are going to be taking a jeep on a cross country road trip, and we're going to be going from here to Mount Rushmore. We're going to Yellowstone, the Grand Canyon, Vegas, Houston, and then we're headed back home. That's a pretty awesome trip. Now you weren't, you didn't have the Jeep before, uh, while we were building the printer, you didn't have the Jeep and you've got that. Um, should we go talk about your Jeep a little bit? Oh yeah, sure, of course. Okay, so why don't you tell me a little bit about your car and what you've done to it? Well, I got this for my 16th birthday. It is a 2000 Jeep Cherokee Sport. When we first bought it, it came with three different types of tires. So the first thing we did was get new tires and rims. We completely stripped and redid the inside, got new wheel flares, and most recently I put new leaf springs on there, which is added suspension. So you think all those maker skills and building a printer helped with uh, working on your vehicle? Definitely, most definitely. Awesome. So what are your what are your favorite things to do in your Jeep? Oh, go off roading, pouring rides, windows down, blaring music. Nice, nice. So you're. You're a typical teenager, so that's oh, yeah. that's awesome. Great. All right, so now that you're graduated from high school, what advice would you give other kids that are in school right now that are interested in science and engineering and uh, medical field? What, what advice would you give them in high school right now? Okay, so the most important advice I could have to give you would be to exit your comfort zone. Leave your comfort zone, do not go in it at all. Because that is what got me into 3D printing. That's what got me into the medical field. And that's what's making me who I am today. All right, so thanks for sticking around for this little update video. And uh, everybody, please put your congratulations to Danny down in the comments and give him your words of encouragement. And uh, he's going to be awful excited going yeah. to... Rock Valley College. Rock Valley College. So thanks, everybody, for watching. And we'll see you next time.